Hi, everybody. It's Puerto Mar in San Francisco, and if you're not wearing nails, you're not doing drag. At least according to Alaska Thunderfuck, and I honestly kind of believe that's true because nails always complete your look. But sometimes it takes a lot of $1 bills stuffed in your bra to get yourself a nice pack of those express-on nails, which can only be worn once. That's, of course, the kind that go on with a self-adhesive on the back already applied. And who wants to really have acrylics because, girl, you're stuck with them, and they're costly. So let me tell you how to turn a pair of man hands into lady fingers. It's going to cost you 10 minutes of your life. About five bucks. Yes, that's right, five bucks. And the desire for a little bit of fresh breath if you want to keep them handy. I'll be back in just a second with my helpful hints. And you're not going to believe how cheap and easy it really is. I promise. Here are the supplies we are going to be working with. First, just your average ordinary roll of duct tape. A pack of these type of nail chips. I bought these at Daiso. They come 120 pieces of nails for $1.50. Yes, that's correct. These happen to be a square tip. What I'm actually going to be showing you are these. These are oval tipped. Can you see the difference? So they come, they look like this in the package. There are five of these. These are just plain, ordinary. They're clear. They're not very expensive, so this is for you to be able to do this on the cheap and then just dispose of them without worrying about it if you want. A can of high gloss spray paint, honey. Yes, that's right. Just like you would paint your outdoors with. Just in case you want to add a little bit of extra bling, I have this clean color nail lacquer. This is a clear polish with a gold glitter in it. I have taken the duct tape and secured the nail to a background, this happens to be a piece of foam core, also from the dollar store, and I have secured all five of them. As you can see, it's very easy, I just taped them down, and if you're guessing that I just ran across it with spray paint, you are 100% correct. It literally takes seconds. Then simply dry it with a hair dryer, run a hot hair dryer across it, and then you can see, just to add a little extra bling, 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 bling on the bottom, there it is, that gold lacquer on the nails. If you are looking for something to secure these on cheaply, I'm gonna give you another hint. I happen to use, from Dollar Tree, these single-use uh, super glue. They're super small, easy to pack in a drag bag. Um, put on a clear coat of nail polish on your nails first, and then just use this, glue these nails on, and bam. We're talking this whole process, setting it up, spray painting it, and adding this beautiful gold lacquer took me under 10 minutes. You're gonna get 120 pieces of nails in the same color if you do all the whole pack. Like I taped those down and spray painted all of them bright red. The reason I did that is because I can save them all together and over a period of time I can just like, if they come off my fingers without breaking, great, they go back in the bin and I can reuse them again and again. And remember earlier when I said, if you have a desire for fresh breath, it'll come in handy? Voila. You take this empty tin, rinse it out, and it becomes a fantastic storage space for all your old nails. The reason this is important, as you take 120 pieces of the same colored nail on or off, just keep them in that tin. They're always all together, the same color, and you will invariably always have a full set of nails. If you get really, really creative, you can take empty Altoid tins and fill them with nails in different colors. Take another $1.50 set of Daiso nails, lay them down, spray paint them a different color, lacquer them up with a different kind of glitter, and no matter what outfit you throw on, you're always going to have something that matches it on your fingertips. It's that simple and so cheap. Oh my God, who would have thought it, right? Please do subscribe. Check out my other videos, including some of my other cost-saving tips for drag queens and aspiring drag queens, or maybe just girls who like to do drag themselves, right? Until next time, Podomar, find me on social media. Let's hook up. Mwah.